It's the suffering that you take. It's the blood, sweat, tears on the track. It's the camaraderie with the other riders. You know what you've been through. You know what it takes to be at that finish line. In hard enduro, just achieve to the finish line is something like you cannot believe. You push until the end, not until you die, but almost. You kind of have this thrill in yourself where you want to push yourself over the limit and see to make the impossible possible. The thrill of hard enduro is just that challenge, that feeling of getting to the finish. Dirt bikes flipping, crazy hill climbs, crazy downhills, big rocks. Hard enduro is just absolute chaos. It's so unique in so many different ways. It's pretty hard to describe, to be honest. You just have to experience it, but I promise you won't be disappointed. This is the entry point. Our saga begins in Serbia. Wild, captivating country, as if it was divinely designed for this sport. Welcome to the 2023 FIM Hard Enduro World Championship and the first of seven completely unique races. You want me to describe the championship? Yeah, we race for points, I would say, yeah. <laughs> Each race has its own unique format. If it's a rally, you got GPSs. Some are multi-lap formats, so it all depends on the place. But that's really what's cool about this series is it brings a lot of different riding aspects. Truly the best rider wins in the end. This year, one thing has changed. For the prologue, we get points. So we got points in the prologue. So what do you think about it? I like it because I'm good doing products, so. <laughs> this series is evolving, much like the sport. Growing, shifting, and moving forward. With every stop, we weave our way closer to the ultimate prize. Only one rider can be named world champion. This is the man defending that title, Manny Lettenbigler. <laughs> it's never easy to win a championship. It's so many things can happen. This year is another year, and um, the cards are going to be new mixed. I think the other guys are definitely motivated and excited. I'm trying for sure to defend my title, but it's not going to be an easy job. Mario Roman, he is hungry as ever to get a world championship. He's the man that I'm watching this year because he's got such a good technique. He's the one who's been doing the most hard enduro events. We started the season in January already with Serco, and yeah, I already done seven races. I've been doing everything possible to improve my level from last year. Of all the riders here, none is more revered and respected than the elder statesman of the sport. He finished third in the championship last year. Now at 48 years old, he's back for another bout. It's the legend himself, Graham Jarvis. The goal is the same as always, finish the races is the first thing, but if I'm just in there fighting with the younger guys, it's pretty good as well. This year, the fight includes more focus on the new breed of talent. Junior riders will be awarded FIM points at four of the races. It begins right here, a launch pad for future legends, like last year's Junior World Cup winner, Matthew Green. There's more riders, more competition. I want to win that again, but I definitely look to try and compete with the bigger guys in the main class and uh, get a good result overall. Prologue points are on everyone's mind including 2021 world champion Billy Bolt. He announces his triumphant return to the series by dominating the opening enduro cross. Yeah, last year obviously didn't go as good as I would have liked. I had high hopes to try and fight for another title, but I was riding in so much pain in my wrist, took the decision to pull out of the championship. 
been a while since I've been in the hot enduro race, you know, it's since July that I was actually in the paddock. I think I'm definitely uh, not quite at my best yet, but for a starting position, I'm, I'm pretty happy. So I want to build from here. I want to try and make as few mistakes as possible. I think if I can do that, I think the results should be pretty good. Watch the technique here. The three, and then the one, and watch this bounce. Bolt's a three-time Super Enduro World Champion. His skill set is extremely beneficial on a track like this, and it gets him the win and three points. Alfredo Gomez is also excellent in an enduro cross, handling obstacles with ease in second. Manny Lettenbickler and his KTM teammate Tristan Hart try to outmaneuver each other for the final prologue point. Alfredo for a second place. Here's Tristan Hart. Manny's going for an inside. Not enough. Big send to the finish. The first results of the season are in. Celebration is in the air as riders get reacquainted with each other and the fans. The adrenaline rush from this event is necessary fuel for what's to come. This landscape is a blank page where the story of an epic three-day off-road rally is about to be written. I really like the concept of having a long race. Like you're only with yourself during that time and when it gets tough, then you have to work with yourself in the proper way. In this kind of uh, racing, I would say your mentality is more important than your physical condition. You are on your own in the mountain. You never know when the end of the race arrives. That was a superb line right in the V. That was good. Nobody's done that one except Graham. The terrain here is actually pretty unique. There's some pretty big mountains and kind of Romaniac style riding, I guess you could say, but there's definitely some differences. A lot more rocks in the ground, so you really have to pay attention. There's uh, lots of small tree root and loose stones which can catch you out really easily. And then you also have the super steep, super long, traditional kind of hard enduro hill climbs, which uh, I think if this weather continues to rain are going to be really, really difficult. Under a blanket of fog and rain, the crowd congregates. Prologue winner Bolt makes a choice to start third. Gomez is second. Hart's first on the 100 kilometers of fresh track. In this rally, each rider is pushing to be the fastest over three long days of intense off-road racing. Best overall time takes the win. On the pipe already. No, oh, grass is slick under the tires. Steep down here now. No mess up. The boys! The boys! Everybody's together! After starting fourth, Manny Lettenbickler quickly climbs his way into first position. There's a reason he is the defending champion. Manny's just literally come through the riverbed. Tristan and her crew are here now. Tristan just drowned his bike in the water. And that's way through into a second place position on the road right now. Wade Young ascends a waterfall in second battling gravity and the current to improve upon last year's fifth place result at this race and 10th overall in the championship. Last year wasn't my best season. Um, definitely not what I had planned heading into the season. A couple of injuries in that. 
We've managed to rectify those injuries, done quite a bit of rehab training. But I finish here off on a high, the Roof Africa managing to still get a win there over Manny, so that was quite a big thing for me. And then, yeah, we started the season, I raced in uh, Alastrem with a few of the top guys and managed to get a win there as well. So, yeah, it's been pretty good and I'm just trying to carry that same momentum into this year. Momentum's a tricky thing. An object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an external force or a broken bike. Yeah, I just came through this river here and my starter motor got stuck on. I'm trying to make a plan, see if I can maybe find the problem and then jump start the bike. So Serbia with the rain, really, really tough conditions. The guys are struggling a lot in the rivers and it's going to really sap the energy. So a technique where you're making progress without using too much energy is going to be key. 2021 series champ Bolt is meticulous with his technique. His riding style is a perfect storm of skill, strategy, and a bit of aggression. Keep breathing. He injured his arm earlier in the race, but watching him power through these rocks in the toughest section of the course, you wouldn't know it. After five frantic hours, he's the first to muscle his way into the finish. But the celebration is short-lived when he learns he missed a section because of a navigation error. Lettenbickler speeds in in second. Roman's right after him. But the results are about to change. Bolt will drop to 10th for going off track. It's a bittersweet win for his good friend, Manny Lettenbickler. I don't know what I did. Huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. No, I didn't see your group. Do you have any problems? Or? No. With better weather on day two, the mood is more relaxed at the starting gate. I remember it's quite difficult from the beginning, eh? Because yeah. I break the clutch pump on the first hill last year. Now it's time to get down to business. Letting Bickler guns it from the gate. Being the first to ride is often a double-edged sword. On one hand, navigation can be more difficult. On the other, the track has yet to be chewed up by the competition. So first man grip is definitely going to help here. You can see Manny already just having a little struggle here and there. As the tire's full of dirt, it slimes the rock, and then it makes it super slick. So first few riders are definitely going to advantage today. Using his leg strength to help climb, Roman follows Manny through the rocks. Behind the vet, a young talent is rising through the ranks. Teo, strong performance yesterday. Started 19th yesterday, now in third today. Teo Kabatchev finished second at this race last year and fourth overall in the championship. Michael Walkner was sixth in both x ross standings and the series. Fresh faces that are making their mark in the sport. Through checkpoint two, they are the two fastest riders. Behind them is another young gun to keep an eye on. Canada's Tristan Hart. Big news for this year. I'm gonna be here the whole year. The boys can't get rid of me here in Europe. If you wanna be the best at hard enduro, you gotta be racing the world championship. Yeah, I wanna be the best. <laughs> Tristan Hart's gone into third on the road, so he's really pulled some time. And Mario is only just up there. Tristan Hart is another guy that I'd like to see gain that momentum and gain that experience from all the various events in the World Championship. He's a serious contender because that guy's got some real talent and uh, he wants to beat the European guys.
Welcome, Billy Bolt, to the party. Whoa, Billy just going for a hero line there. Going in front of Tristan now. Wow, Billy making big progress in this one. Getting past three riders. Bolt is a beast. He's past Wachner, Kabachev, and Hart, fighting tooth and nail to climb from a 10th place start in the third. William, spot on me out. Kicking up rocks, bolt trails Roman through a narrow, jagged section of the track. That was mega, that was. Really loading it through the right foot peg then. Speeding through the hills, Roman's never looked stronger and more confident. He rode seven races in the off season. Practice makes perfect. His goal, to eliminate any chance of repeating his 10th place X-Ross finish from last year. I don't have the best memories from last year. I broke my toe in this race when I had to suffer a lot of pain to be able to collect some points. But this year is a new opportunity, new challenge. I know my, my level is good, so if everything goes well, I can be fighting for the title. Mario and Billy together. So if Mario can stick with Billy, he'll have a mega day. Up front, Letton Bickler is the undeniable overall time leader. Riding like this, he will be very difficult to catch. The rest will try. Letton Bickler is first to finish. But Bolt is actually six seconds faster for the day. Roman takes third. Wow. I'm sorry to say, boys, but you beat him for six seconds. Three seconds. Six seconds. <laughs> Going into the final day of off-road riding, it's a game of follow the leader. Lettenbickler is nearly a half hour ahead of Roman. After that, the times are much tighter. Battles for second and third are looming on the horizon. We move with intention into the final day of racing. Every action focused and calculated. For some, this race has been a seemingly effortless introduction to the season. For others, it's been a whirlwind of highs and lows. Rising through the fog, they climb the mountain and pierce the clouds. A visual metaphor for the great heights they each hope to achieve this year. Billy's gonna get back behind Mario and he's right on his tail. So that means he's made a minute already today. 20 minutes in, Roman and Bolt slog it out. A stone's throw away, Hart, Kabachev, and Wachner are on the grind. Only minutes apart in the overall, they're frantically fighting to steal third from Bolt. Of the three, only one rider has yet to stand atop an FIM championship podium. Austria's hardest working hard enduro rider, Michael Wachner. We are riding on the new bike, so we had to test a lot in the winter time and do some preseason races. Did also some motocross riding in the winter to get a little bit more speed. The 
goal for the season is definitely to make at least one podium. And overall, to get in the top five would be a big goal. And yeah, I will do everything to achieve that. Walkner is giving it everything he's got. But try as he might, he's falling behind Kabachev and Hart. A valiant effort, nonetheless. He's not the only one who's run into trouble. Bolt has been dealt a severe blow. He's experiencing technical bike issues. Because of this, he loses a lot of time, and with it, any hope of making it to the podium. Now, Roman has got second place in the bag. All eyes shift to the battle for third. Tristan Hart's race has been a roller coaster ride, but overcoming adversity and landing on the podium at his first X Ross would be spectacular. Still, Teo Kabachev made podium here last year, and he's not going down without a fight. Teo Kabachev is not a new talent coming through, but he's really showing that front row, top, top step on the podium material consistently. I've seen him just here in Serbia. He looks very fit and strong. My personal challenge in every race is just to, in the end of the race, to, to say, you know, I gave my, my all. I performed the best that I could, and I'm happy with my effort. I have clear goals, I'm working towards them, but uh, let's see, let's see what I can do this year. Right now, he has a singular goal, outride Tristan Hart. When everything is running smoothly, Hart Enduro is as much an art as it is a sport. In front, Manny Lettenbickler's flawless performance is poetry in motion. I really like this format. A little bit of uh, adventure also, you know, if you're out there for three days in the woods. And um, I think also this kind of format suits me and my riding style a little bit. So that's why I was really looking forward for it, that it was also the first round this year and pretty stoked to be back. And what a triumphant return to the championship. Manny Lettenbickler cruises in with a showstopper first place performance. Mario Roman's fantastic race secures him second, and Teo Kabachev continues to impress with another podium finish. Mega stoked, guys, like really, really stoked. Taking over the overall win um, again for the second time, second year. Definitely. Overwhelmed and I'm quite happy. My riding was pretty good all three days, so um, definitely consistent and I enjoyed it quite a bit. I feel amazing. It's uh, such a really good start of the season. Uh, second overall, money for sure was flying in this GPS format race, but uh, still a long season and I'm feeling great. Well, today was uh, really a battle. Well, we were four guys. Uh, really close uh, time-wise for the third place, so um, I gave my best uh, road as, as good as I can, and uh, I got it, so I'm quite happy. Yeah, pretty sick day. Um, we had some pretty good views out there, got to ride with some of my friends, and pretty much just had to bring it home, first in juniors, which is cool. Good start to the year. In the final x ross standings, Manny Lettenbickler reigns victorious at the top of the podium. Mario Roman earned himself a silver medal, and Teo Kabachev comes out on top in the battle for third. We've begun with a bang. In the FIM points race, it's defending series champion Manny Lettenbickler once again in the lead. Mario Roman with a successful second, and Teo Kabachev in a well-deserved third. Sitting in 11th in the overall and first in the Juniors World Championship is Matthew Green, leading the pack of fresh talent into what is for many 
the unknown. So it's that ultimate question, who's going to win the season? Who's going to get the World Championship for 2023? There's so much mileage to do. There's, they've got to take so many risks. Everything's got to be perfect with the bike and the body. We've seen it in the past where people pick up injuries really late on in the season. The guys with the most experience will take it the longest distance in the championship. But them young guns, they want to have a go. They're here for business, that's for sure. For a number of young riders, it will be their first time tackling the mighty and menacing Iron Giant. And that's where we're headed next. The saga continues as we fearlessly climb our way up the Austrian mountains to a race that's both visually mesmerizing and astonishing in its intensity. This is the Red Bull Erzberg Rodeo, round two of the FIM Hard Enduro World Championship. Ready for this. 